Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Monday, August 22nd, 2022. It is a bright, sunny day outside. Sun's just peeking over the trees, uh, but the deck is kind of dewy and damp, so I didn't want to start the day off with a, a wet rear end, so I'm, I'm inside today. But looking out, seeing the birds at the feeder, and, and uh, yeah, that looks like it's going to be a good day out there. About 60 degrees here at the house. It's going to be a nice late summer day. Get out and enjoy it. Check in time, how are you all doing? Hope and pray that you are healthy and safe and well. I'll leave a comment or a question below if you have one. Um, I do what, oh, um, big week for us at First English. The treasure sale starts on Thursday, so they've been busy the past few, oh, 10 days or so to set up and uh, doing some fine tuning, fine tuning this week and getting everything set for Thursday morning. So it's gonna be a little bit of a crazy week for us. Um, uh, speaking of that, I hope you uh, had a chance to worship. Either it starts your week right with worship, either online or in person. And uh, yeah, we're going going on. Uh, I don't have coffee here today. I do have some water. So cheers, church. I'll be stopping at station three on my way into church this morning and uh, having coffee with the uh, crew at the fire department there. And yeah, on to the Devo. Devo comes from Word in Season, and our writer is David Miller, former editor of The Lutheran, is author of Friendship with Jesus, A Way to Pray the Gospel of Mark, and many other articles, devotions, lives in Downers Grove, Illinois. So David Miller is our writer for this section of, for the rest of August, in, in Word in Season anyway. And our scripture reading for today is Psalm 109, 21 to 31, Psalm 109, 21 to 31. But you, O Lord, my Lord, act on my behalf for your name's sake. Because your steadfast love is good, deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is pierced within me. I am gone like a shadow at evening. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting. My body has become gaunt. I am an object of scorn to my accusers. When they see me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord, my God. Save me according to your steadfast love. Let them know that this is your hand. You, O Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but you will bless. Let my assailants be put to shame. May your servant be glad. May my accusers be clothed with dishonor. May they be wrapped in their own shame as in a mantle. With my mouth, I will give great thanks to the Lord. I will praise him in the midst of the throng. For he stands at the right hand of the needy to save them from those who would condemn them to death. There we go. Things are not looking good for the psalmist, psalm writer there, is it? Are they? It's uh, being attacked and accused and... Well, yeah, well, crying out to God for, for help. So the devotion is titled, Love Wants Us. And the theme verse is verse 22. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is pierced within me. Relationships disappoint, all of them. Sooner or later, we fail those most dear to us, or they let us down, or both, <laughs> right? Worst of all, our moments... So, worst of all, our moments someone betrays us or blames us for something we did not do. A torrent of emotions floods the heart. Confusion, disappointment, anger, fear, loneliness. Our wounded hearts cry out for justice, or at least a reason why. This is all profoundly human, as is the psalm we read today. Wrongly accused, the psalmist pleads for justice praying for his betrayers to be punished and shamed, begging God to set the world right again. Nothing about this feels particularly pious. The pierced heart is never patient, knowing only its pain. But the psalmist also knows what we must claim. God is our loving partner and friend amid the raggedy emotions that roil the heart. Everything can and must be brought to the love who wants us and who longs for our honesty, that love may bring newness exactly where we hurt. Hmm. 
yeah, the, w reading through this, we don't know the situation that the psalmist was in, but it, it he is, uh, or she is in a lot of pain. And when you're in pain, you tend to lash out at those who are causing you pain, right? Um, praying, the psalmist is praying for justice and praying for the betrayers to be shamed and punished. And it doesn't feel particularly pious, but we can understand that because we've all been in those situations where we want, we, we want to see those who are hurting us uh, hurt right back. And so we, we may act on that or pray about that. Um, a pierced heart is never patient. Okay. knowing only pain. But also as the psalmist here says, and as our writer David Miller says, it's important to be honest with God about our feelings and, uh, and say, this, I'm really mad at this person right now. I want you to just punish them, hurt them, um, knowing that God will, will hear that prayer and understand our pain and uh, hopefully <laughs> and probably will will ease our pain maybe not by punishing the person that's hurt us but um, maybe just by being there and understanding and bringing us the peace that God the peace of God's love in our hearts and so that we can uh, get over this pain and and maybe even as Jesus says learn to love our enemies yeah. it's challenging it's challenging but that's the call of uh, of God Everything can and must be brought to the love who wants us and long for our honesty that love may bring newness exactly where we hurt. We pray for that newness. Okay, that's a good start to our Monday. Uh, be a strong heart, good courage. This day, dear church, keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your masks, do all those things to keep yourselves and others safe. And uh, we do these things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. So let's pray. Save us, O Lord, according to your steadfast love, for you are our comfort and our deliverance. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.